good afternoon everybody, we're Darren and Daughters, we are back with Andresa, we're going to do some work today, I've uh, got a couple of jobs that I need to do, uh, sorry about this, there's a guy pottering about in his little uh, tender, but a couple of jobs I've got to do today, we will be going out this week, we are uh, planning going out on a couple of days, Thursday and probably Saturday as well, uh, maybe squeeze one more in, the, we're now back open for tourism here in Portugal, there were about 20 planes coming into Faro today, so there's going to be lots of tourists about in a couple of days. Uh, so we're going to get a couple of things done. I'm going to run you through the jobs as we're doing them and, and what we're doing, uh, just to get everything finally finished and we can start going out on a regular basis. Uh, Susie's uh, off today, she's doing that, I'm on my own, so uh, we're going to be uh, doing a bits and pieces together. I'll show you the jobs, as I say, and show you how they're finished. Speak to you soon, guys. Bye for now. Okay, so one of the first jobs that we're going to do is we're going to fit some transom wheels to the tender that we use. Uh, if you remember last year we bought a new uh, tender and the idea being it's much easier to handle, much lighter. I say lighter, that's comparative, it weighs about 85 kilos all in. Uh, it's got a, a 10 uh, horsepower engine on the back so uh, it does weigh a bit and last year Susie and I, if you remember, we went to uh, Sagres and then we went up to Ferragudo and stayed at a little beach bar where we had to drag the tender and carry it up the beach. Not an easy task to be honest with you, 80 kilos in the hot sun when you're a bit tired is uh, a lot, especially when you're going to drag it back down. So we're going to fit some tender wheels to the garage, it's one of the first jobs we're going to do. We're also going to change the ensign on uh, the boat because it's a bit faded, I'll show you that as we do it. Uh, and another couple of little tinkle things that we'll, we'll get through too. But I'll show you how we're doing them as we go through each step. Okay, so the first job we're going to do is we're going to fit these transom wheels to the back of the dinghy. These are a great pieces of kit, they fold up. These are a second hand pair that I managed to pick up in a boat shop which is great because they're really difficult to get hold of here in Portugal. Very common in the UK but not so much here. So I managed to get a pair of these things and we're going to uh, fit those to the back a transom of the tender that will allow them to fold out of the way when the boat's in use they fold up so that they're like that and then they unhook and then go to the bottom uh, so you can tow them up the beach i'll demonstrate it on the back to do that we're going to use a, a drill we're going to use a set of spanners and a small screwdriver just to mark out where they're going on the transom we're going to use some uh, acrylic uh, silicon just to seal the holes as we do them and we've got a bag of stainless steel uh, nuts, bolts and washers that I managed to pick up this morning at the steel shop which is just a couple of common up the road from the marina. Stainless steel ones, just what you need for, for the boat so they don't corrode. So I'll show you this once we've got everything open. So you can see now we've got the garage up, we've got the tender inside there. So I'll show you where we're going to put these things in. So here's the transom, we want to make sure that we are clear of the fuel tank here. Obviously we don't want to fuel the fuel tank, we can just push that out of the way. And then what we're going to do here, you can see hopefully where the sponson meets the, the transom here. So just at the side of that, we're going to be mounting this just there, just above the line where the seal of the floor is. And that's it in its up position and then obviously it will be reversed when the wheels are put down to that position and the wheel is then slightly below the bottom of the transom so that we can tow it up the beach when we're done. We'll just mark the holes out, drill through and mount each wheel accordingly. So you can see we've drilled the holes, we've got the bolts through from the other side, ready to exit the wheels. The next thing to do we will circle each one with some silicon, make sure that they're steel and they don't let water in. And then we'll offer up the dinghy wheel and put the bolt at the nuts on the front of that. We've got nylon locking nuts to make sure that they don't come loose with all the bouncing around and trundling up the beaches that they do. But it should be a fairly simple job. So there we have the finished article. That's the wheel on. Nuts and bolts done. It's currently in the centre position, so when it's normally underway, we pull that up and it would be out of the way like that. It would be tucked up beside the motor. And then when we were coming in towards the beach, just before we pulled it onto the shore, we would lift that out and it would go down into the bottom position. It won't quite snap in at the minute because obviously it's near to the floor, but that would then raise the transom off the back and we'll be able to tow the dinghy up the beach without having to lift the weight of the engine. Get the other one on now and I'll show you the finished job, guys. 
So guys, there we are. Transom wheels on a dinghy. Picked up these at, at Celtic Marine. They were second hand, so 10 bucks a piece. Normally they're about, about 100, 120 bucks for a pair, something like that. Pretty good. I love a bargain. Can't help having a rummage in the uh, the old bargain bins when you go into a Chandler's. Look at that, fantastic. So, up position, centre position, and then when it's on the floor and in the water, the down position, and we'll be able to tow her up the beach without taking the weight of the engine. We'll demonstrate that on Thursday when we go and have a drink, I think, in Kalu Beach Bar. Absolutely awesome stuff. Okay, the next job we're going to do is we're going to take the ensign down from up there, as you can see, completely faded, absolutely knackered. Uh, that's what the sun does to you one season in Albufeira in, uh, or in Portugal, in the Algarve, in the sun, it takes the red completely out. That was a brand new ensign at the start of last season. Now, absolutely screwed. And we're going to replace it with a brand new, lovely embroidered ensign again. The same as the one we did last year. Probably only last another season because the sun will just bleach the hell out of it. And then we will be ready for the season. We'll get a set of courtesy flags before we go, set of new ones. We still, the Portuguese one's a bit faded, but it's, it'll last a little while longer. But we'll get a full set for Spain and one for Morocco because we're going to go to Morocco this year. So I'll show you that when it's up, guys. And there we have it. One brand new ensign, three quarter yard ensign. This is not a soup yacht, so we don't take it down every evening and put it up every morning. Plus, I'm not, you're going to have to start climbing up there like I've just had to do to get that down there because I can't reach because I'm too short. So I had to climb on the roof. Uh, not easy, but there you go. I think boats are just built for men, really. Anybody who's above six foot tall. But maybe a ladder will invest in. Who knows? Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Out on Tuesday. Uh, sorry, out on Thursday and Saturday. And probably Sunday as well. And we'll film it all for you. Lots of videos to come. I'm here till the beginning of June. Uh, I've got to go back for a few days and then I'll be back again and out and cruising. See you soon, guys. Bye for now.